Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to talking about how to create our progress bar in XTML, CS, and JavaScript. As you can see, when we click this, yes, as you can see. Okay, let's go ahead to create together. The first thing you need to do is go into your uh, editor. For my favorite editor is uh, Visual Studio Code. As you can see. Okay, let's create a new file and save it. I want to save it into my desktop and I create a new folder for it. Okay. Um, demo and inside it I want to create a new folder for the progress bar okay and here I need to create a progress bar dot html okay boom so I need to create a, the first thing you need to do is create a standard uh, body as XTML. Okay. Boom. Okay. I want to um. You can say uh, okay. So I need to increase the font size to easy to view. Okay. The step one is create the element of the progress bar in XTML. Okay, let me create a header for the title is JS progress bar load. Demo. Okay. Save it. And you can do it in the your what I should I and Yeah, you can go to your desktop and focus bar and click it, and it will show in your browser. You can see. Okay, as you can see here, like this, like this, and then. You need to create a view tag and one more view tag and input an ID for it. I can say uh, okay for bar and I initial value it to the Person. And I need to add an ID to IK4 progress. Okay, so let's save it and refresh. You can see here. And then what we need to do is um, create a button when we click that button it will show the progress bar progress of bar to 100 percent from 10 10 percent to 100 percent okay then I create button and add action it to on click okay, like this and I can say progress 
this is the, the function in JavaScript that we will create uh, next time. Okay, and we can say uh, go and save it. Refresh. Okay, as you can see here, this go. Let's go button. I can break that one line to make it separate. Okay, looks good. Yeah, as you can see. And then what we need to do is a uh, decoration with CSS. Go to head head and text style. What we need to do is um, let's go about uh, progressing by and here our ID. Uh -huh. What we need to do is say it of one hundred percent. This is the full width, and I can say background uh, background color. Uh, and we want the uh, you can say blue. One more thing is um, our bar. And what we need to do is this we go to one hundred percent and high. Uh, you can say 40 pixel and I can say background color to the yeah I can say canvas and about the tech alignment is to center the alignment about the progress person that's so on the progress bar okay um line right? it's to 40 pixel okay and the color is color tag is um I can do y so we need to refresh it you can see here here is our progress bar but um, for now we don't need to create with full width like this we need to add it to 10 percent for initial our progress bar as you can see here like this and then what we need to do okay let me change the color because it's This is really nice. Okay, great. And about this, I'm gray like this. I'm save it. Refresh it. Okay, great. Okay, uh, let. We need to create a function for progress in the JavaScript to make it animation progressing from 10% to 100% going to the down 
you can write JavaScript in TypeScript like this. So what we need to do is go get a function called progress. Yeah, as you can see here. And what we need to do in this function, just go get um, item. Item is uh, stand for the uh, bar. So we need to equal to document dot get element by ID. You can see what is our ID. ID is here. Okay, and then we need to initialize it equal to 10 because we need to starting from 10% and what we need to do is id set in to walk frame And then, what is RAM? RAM is our uh, function inside our function that we will create now. Okay, uh, function RAM like this. Okay. So we need to check it. F which. Greater or equal to 100%. And we need to clear into one with ID. Okay. L. Which. Okay, so let's say how it works. Refresh it and then click it. Wow, cool, really cool. Okay, you can refresh it again and like this. Yes, that's great. Okay. Thank you for watching and if you have any question you can ask me below this video and also uh, ask me with my Facebook page, my Twitter page and my website as well. Okay, don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you want this file and I will upload it to uh, my GitHub repository and I will put the link to download in the video description. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you for watching.